The moon is so pretty, and even though humans have been there, there's so much we don't know about it. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel, I'm your host Emily, and today we are counting down our list of the top 10 unsettling NASA moon secrets that will make you question everything. Number 10. Moon Trash Yep, us humans don't only litter on our beautiful Earth, but on the moon as well. Over time, the astronauts who visited the moon managed to leave quite a bit of trash behind. It's estimated that there's 181,437 kilograms, about 400,000 pounds of man-made materials lying around on the moon. Now, to make you feel better, it's not like the astronauts have been purposely littering the place and throwing sandwich wrappers and banana peels everywhere. Most of the garbage is debris from various experiments, space probes, and lunar rovers. Some of it, in fact, is still functional today, and I guess it's easier just leaving it there than bringing it back on the spaceship and back to Earth, but I feel like they should just make a storage shed for this kind of stuff, you know? Just not leave it on the ground. There is also some real trash though, however, such as astronaut poop containers. Yes, poop containers, which is just gross. Number 9. The Moon is a Burial Ground For those of you who didn't know, including myself until today, there is a dead body on the moon. Well. Sort of. Eugene Jean Shoemaker, a famous astronomer and geologist, was something of a legend in his field. He invented the scientific research of cosmic impacts and came up with methods and techniques that Apollo astronauts used to reach the moon. Jean wanted to be an astronaut himself, but was turned down because of a minor medical issue. Throughout his life, this remained his biggest disappointment, but every day he kept on dreaming that he would someday visit the moon. Then, when he died, NASA fulfilled his most precious wish and on on July 31st, 1999, some of his ashes were carried to the moon by the Lunar Prospector space probe in a capsule designed by Carol Porco. Jean is the only person whose remains have been placed on any celestial body outside Earth. The breast foil wrapping of his memorial capsule is inscribed with images of Comet Hellebop, the last comet that he and his wife observed together, the Barringer meteor crater, and a quotation from Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, reading, and when he shall die, take him and cut him out out in little stars, and he will make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will be in love with night and pay no worship to the garish sun. His ashes remain there today, scattered amongst moon dust. And I'm not gonna lie, this is really cool. Number 8. Moon Shadows When Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin first walked the moon, they made a jarring discovery. The shadows of the moon were far darker than those on Earth due to the lack of atmosphere. Everything the sun didn't shine directly on was pitch black. Once their foot stepped in a shadow, they could not see it anymore despite the fact that the sun was blazing in the sky. Now, that sounds terrifying. Although they soon found out they could adjust to the shadows, the constant contrast between dark shadow areas and sunny ones remained a challenge. Things got even stranger when they noticed that some of the shadows, namely their own, had halos. They later learned the eerie experience was caused by the opposition effect, a phenomenon that makes certain dark shadowed areas appear surrounded by a bright light when they're viewed in a certain angle to the sun. In general, the shadows of the moon caused mischief on many Apollo missions. Some astronauts found their maintenance tasks tasks impossible because their own hands blocked out what they were doing, while others thought they were landing on a steep slope because of the deep shadows that seemed like a cavern. Number 7. The Moon Has Its Own Time Zone If you've ever wondered, can astronauts tell time on the moon? The answer is yes, it is possible to tell time on the moon. In fact, back in 1970, Helbro's watches asked Kenneth L. Franklin, who for many years was the chief astronomer at New York's Hayden Planetarium, to design a watch for moonwalkers that measures time in what he calls lunations, the period it takes the moon to rotate and revolve around the earth, and each lunation is exactly 29.530589 earth days. For the moon, Kenneth developed a system called the Lunar Mean Solar Time or Lunar Time LT. He envisioned local lunar time zones similar to the standard time zones of earth, but based on meridians that are 12 degrees wide, opposed to the 15 degree intervals on earth. A lunar hour was defined as a luauer, and Delalune hours, centilune hours, and millilune hours were also introduced. Interestingly, one moon watch was sent to the President of the United States at the time, Richard M. Nixon, who sent a thank you note to Kenneth. The note and another moon watch were kept in a display case at the Hayden Planetarium for several years, and quite a few visitors would openly wonder why Nixon was presented with a wristwatch that could be only used on the moon, and I have the answer. 
it's because it's cool. I mean, you're telling me if you could have a moon watch, you would say no. Number six, the moon has varying temperatures. If you look on the internet for the temperature data on the moon, you're gonna run into quite a bit of confusion. There's little consistency even within a given website in which temperature scale is quoted, Celsius, Fahrenheit, and even Kelvin. The temperature at the lunar equator ranges from an extremely low minus 280 degrees Fahrenheit, aka minus 173 degrees Celsius at night, and a very high 260 degrees Fahrenheit, aka 127 degrees Celsius in the daytime. In some deep craters near the moon's poles, the temperatures are always near minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 240 degrees Celsius. During a lunar eclipse, as the moon moves into the Earth's shadow, the surface temperature can plunge about 500 degrees Fahrenheit and 300 degrees Celsius in less than 90 minutes. Number five, moon dust. Yes, the moon is dusty. Moon dust sounds cool, but it's actually one of the moon's most surprising dangers. As everyone knows, sand gets everywhere on Earth, but on the moon, it's downright hazardous. Lunar dust is as fine as flour, yet extremely rough. Thanks to this texture and the moon's low gravity, it clings to absolutely everywhere. NASA has experienced numerous problems caused by moon dust. It has eroded astronauts' boots almost completely through and sandpapered their visors. It has traveled inside ships with spacesuits and caused moon hay fever in the poor astronauts that have inhaled it. It's thought that prolonged exposure to the stuff could even cause airlocks to fail and spacesuits to break down. And in case you're wondering, yes, of course, this devilish substance smells like spent gunpowder. Number four, the moon's origin. Where did the moon come from? The short answer is that we don't really know. However, science has been able to come with a few educated guesses. There are five main theories about the origin of the moon. The fission theory argues the moon used to be a part of our planet that was separated at some very early point in Earth's history. This would make the moon part of what is currently the Pacific Ocean Basin. The capture theory says that the moon was just wandering the universe until our gravitational field caught it. Other theories say our satellite was either condensed from a bunch of asteroids or the remains of Earth's collision with an unknown Mars Size planet. Currently, the most likely candidate for the moon's origin story is the ejected ring theory, which is better known as giant impact theory. According to this version, a protoplanet, a planet that is forming called Thea, collided with Earth, and the ensuing clouds of debris eventually condensed into the moon. Number three, lunar anomalies. Some of the pictures taken by various vessels that have visited the moon have shown some very strange things on its surface. Many of these images seem to show artificial constructs that range from tiny canister like shapes to the shard, which appears to be a towering structure that could be at least 1.6 kilometers, aka one mile tall. According to paranormal enthusiasts, there's even a large castle that is suspended high above the surface of the moon. All of this seems to point toward an advanced civilization that has lived on the moon and built complicated structures. Now, NASA has never really bothered to debunk these strange theories, so does that mean that there's some truth to them? NASA? I need answers. Number two, moon music. Sound needs a medium to travel and thus it cannot be heard in the vacuum of space, yet astronauts have returned to Earth with fascinating tales of hearing odd noises while in space, which is terrifying. During the Apollo 10 mission, which was a test run for sending the first men to the moon, astronauts were carrying various equipment with them, which was being tested to withstand space as they were deemed essential for the moon landing. While circling the moon, the astronauts on the vessel heard a certain whistling sort of music. The music lasted for almost an hour and creep the living daylights out of the astronauts, which rightfully so. One of them described the sound as sort of otherworldly music. On returning to Earth, the astronauts struggled for a while on whether or not to tell NASA and the rest of the world about what they experienced. Later, astronaut Michael Collins, who was also part of the Apollo 11 mission with Aldrin and Armstrong, revealed hearing similar music while on moon's surface. An engineer from the US Space Agency said that the noises likely came from interference caused by radios within the lunar and command modules. However, Al Warden, an astronaut on Apollo 15, disputed the explanation. And coming in at number one is the lost recording. When astronaut Neil Armstrong took a walk on the moon and became the first man to do so in 1969, many conspiracy theories came to light. For one, people claimed he didn't actually go to the moon and that the footage was recorded in a studio. Of the many conspiracy theories surrounding this moment, there's one that remains a mystery to date. During the Apollo 11 mission, after Neil landed on the moon, NASA claims to have lost transmission for roughly two 
few minutes. And in a reportedly secret message to NASA, Neil said, These babies were huge, sir, enormous. Oh my god, you wouldn't believe it. I'm telling you, there are other spacecrafts out here lined up on the far side of the crater's edge. They're on the moon watching us. Now, that sounds absolutely terrifying, and whether this is true or not, the fact that NASA lost transmission with Neil for two minutes is scary within itself. Being out in space, on a different planet, disconnected from everyone, and being completely alone sounds so scary. Well, that's all for our list of the top 10 unsettling NASA moon secrets that will make you question everything. Did anything on our list shock you? I didn't know that the moon had its own time zone, but I feel like that makes a lot of sense. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and make sure to like and subscribe while you're down there. I'm your host, Emily, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you.